I am going to read to you Whose Egg Is This? It is written and photographed by Lisa J. Amstutz. And it's a fun one to try to make some predictions in. So I'm gonna show you the pages and give you some clues as I read it. And you guys can see if you can figure it out and then I'll give you the answer, okay? All right, let's see. Whose egg is this? The Incredible Egg. An egg is the start of a new baby animal. Until the baby hatches, the egg holds everything the animal needs to grow. The yolk feeds the baby. The egg white keeps the yolk safe. A membrane lets water and air go in and out. Some eggs have hard shells to keep them safe. Eggs come in different colors, shapes, and sizes. Eggs can be hard or soft. They can be smooth or rough. Eggs might hatch in a nest. They might hatch in a pond. Some eggs hatch with a little help from their parents. Can you guess which animal laid these eggs? Keep reading and make your best guess. We'll find the correct answers on page 28 and 29 together at the end. These blue eggs rest high in a tree in a nest of twigs and grass. A mother with reddish orange chest feathers keeps the eggs warm. Once the babies hatch, she will feed them worms. These are the eggs. Now I want you to look at the four choices. Okay, here's a hint. You know spring is near when you spot one of these in your yard. Which animal do you think it is? If you said the robin, you are absolutely correct. All right, here's the next one. Under a milkweed leaf, a tiny egg waits. In 10 days, a striped caterpillar will crawl out. It will munch on milkweed leaves. Soon it will turn into a pupa. Then it will become an adult with orange and black wings. Whose egg is this? Here are your choices. Here's a hint, if you haven't already figured it out. Before the snow flies, this animal heads south. It flies to warmer weather. In spring, its children or grandchildren will travel back home. Did you guess the monarch butterfly? That is the correct answer. These cream colored eggs are the biggest. That's a big clue the biggest of all eggs. Their mother and father take turns sitting on them. These giant eggs stay warm in a nest hole in the sand. Whose eggs are these? Here are your choices. We have giant tortoise, ostrich, crocodile, or elephant. Here's a hint. The parents of this baby are almost eight feet, 2.4 meters tall. They can't fly, but they sure can run fast. Which animal do you think it is? If you guessed the ostrich, you are correct. This soft jelly-like glob has thousands of tiny black eggs inside. The babies will hatch in a pond. They will live in the water until their legs grow. Whose eggs are these? Here are your four choices. We have a hermit crab, a duck, a frog, or a goldfish. Here's a hint. 
As an adult, this animal has lungs. It also breathes, breathes through its skin. Which animal do you think it is? If you guessed the frog, you are absolutely correct. All right, next one. These eggs sit in a rotten log or under a rock. The babies inside use a special egg tooth to break through their shells. They peek out for a while, then slither away. Whose eggs are these? Your four choices are worm, snake, snail, or turtle. Ready for your hint? Can you smell with your tongue? This animal can. Flicking it in and out brings smells to an organ in its mouth. Which animal smells with its tongue? If you guessed the snake, you are correct. This silk sack holds 100 tiny eggs. The babies hatch inside the sack. When it gets warm outside, they come out. Then they spin silk parachutes and float away. Whose eggs are these? Our choices are spider, ladybug, bee, or centipede. Here's the egg again. Here's your hint. Each baby has eight legs and eight eyes. I know a lot of my first graders are gonna get this one right away because they did a lot of studying about this animal. The answer is spider. They look like ping pong balls, but these eggs are soft. Their mother buried them in a sandy beach. When the babies hatch, they will rush to the ocean and swim away. Whose eggs are these? Your choices are alligator, seagull, sea turtle, or starfish. Hint, a tough bony shell helps keep this animal safe. Did you guess the sea turtle? That's the correct answer. A strong mother fought her way upstream to lay these pink eggs. She swished her tail to dig a gravel nest for them. When the babies hatch, they will hide in the gravel until they are bigger. Later, they will swim to the ocean. Your choices are tuna, manatee, dolphin, and salmon. Here's your hint. These animals spend most of their lives in the ocean. When they swim to fresh water to lay their eggs, they change color. If you guessed salmon, you are correct. This mother glued thousands of eggs to her tail. When the babies are ready to hatch, she shakes them out. Each baby is only the size of a grain of rice. Whose eggs are these? Here are your choices. Stingray, lobster, shrimp, or seahorse. Here's your hint. This animal catches food with its sharp claws. Its home is the ocean floor. Which one of these animals has sharp claws and lives on the ocean floor? If you guessed lobster, that is the right answer. Thousands of these tiny eggs hang like party streamers in a cave. Their mother guards them. When they hatch, the babies will float away. Whose eggs are these? 
Your choices are octopus, eel, clownfish, or jellyfish. Here's your hint. This animal has eight arms, but no legs. If danger is near, it changes color to hide. Which one of these animals has eight arms and changes color when it wants to hide? If you said octopus, you are correct. This egg is less than one inch or 2.5 centimeters long. A furry mother laid this egg deep in a burrow. After the baby hatches, it will snuggle with its mother and drink her milk. This baby's snout looks like a duck's bill. Whose egg is this? Your choices are goose, beaver, platypus, or salamander. Here is your hint. Only two kinds of mammals lay eggs. Both of these mammals live in Australia. Which one of these animals is a mammal that lives in Australia? you guessed platypus, you are right. Look at that bill. That is a cool looking animal. All right, how did you do with all of your guesses? These were the answers on all of the pages. We had the robin and the monarch butterfly, the ostrich, the frog, the snake, the spider, the sea turtle, the salmon, the platypus, the octopus, and the lobster. I don't think in that order. I just totally went out of order, but that was a fun book to share. You guys are really smart. I bet you got all the answers right out of the gate. Eggs are fun to look at, but eggs break easily. If you find a wild animal's egg, remember not to touch it. That way you will not hurt the growing animal inside. And a lot of animals, um, when they lay eggs, can smell when something as like a human um, or a person has gone close to their egg. And if they smell that scent on their egg, a lot of times they're afraid to go um, back to their eggs to take care of them. So that's why it's really important that you never touch an egg in the wild um, that you find. You can always look with your eyes, but not with your hands because we wouldn't want anything to happen to those eggs where they don't have whoever needs to care for them come back to take care of them. So that is whose egg is this? Thought that would be a fun one to share with you guys and you guys are really good guessers. I hope you enjoyed that story. I enjoyed sharing it with you. If you guys have anything you'd like to share with me, you can um, find my email below and you can put a message or a picture or something like that on there to share. So until next time, I look forward to talking to you and happy reading.